Hi everyone. Welcome back to Unite Pieces channel. Today we are going to tell you about an action, thriller movie, titled Cop Shop. Cop Shop tells the story of a con man who initially throws himself into prison to avoid a deadly hitman, but it turns out that the hitman also goes to prison to finish him off. So, make sure you watch this video till the end, for a better experience. At the beginning of the movie we are shown with the atmosphere of a high-end consulting office that used to work together for influential people, such as heads of state, businessmen, politicians, and the like. And the company was led by a man named Teddy, but it turned out that Teddy was a master swindler. Teddy took all the valuable assets of his followers, thus making him a fugitive of corrupt police officers and professional hitmen. Realizing that he is always in danger, Teddy decides to turn himself in to the police to get some peace behind bars. However, instead of being taken to the police station, Teddy is taken to a house on the border of the city, which turns out to be a corrupt police officer, who is ordered to bring Teddy to the hitman. But suddenly, FBI agents who are also hunting Teddy arrive, so there is a shootout between the two parties. While the chaos was going on, Teddy took advantage of this situation to escape by using a police car. After driving tens of kilometers, the car he was driving finally broke down, but Teddy did not give up and continued his journey on foot to find police officers, because he wanted to surrender himself. Teddy happened to see some police officers who were breaking up a mess in one of the buildings, so Teddy deliberately beat up one of the policewomen there, and let himself be caught. The surprised policewoman was named Valerie, and immediately arrested Teddy. On the other hand, when other police officers were patrolling, they were almost hit by a male driver who was drunk. Because of this, the man was taken to the police station for safekeeping. Once there, they did not find any identity from this man, but they found an insulin device in the man's body, so that he was imprisoned and put in a holding cell, along with a drunk man. After the officers left the place, Teddy soon realized that this drunk man in front of him was a professional hitman, named Vidic. Uniquely, Vidic was willing to go to jail in order to be able to hunt down his target who was none other than Teddy, Vidic did this to show that he was a professional hitman. Feeling that death was in sight, Teddy tried to negotiate with Vidic, but Vidic, who was committed to his words, refused all offers from Teddy, and his goal was only one, namely to kill Teddy and return all the loot to its owner. While the conversation was going on, suddenly the drunk man who was in the same cell with Vidic woke up, and revealed that he was not happy to be in the same cell with Vidic, who looked like a stepfather who was fond of drinking. When the time was exactly 12 pm, the insulin device that Vidic was carrying was emitting smoke, so the automatic fire alarm there sounded, and simultaneously, the man who insulted Vidic was immediately beaten by him until he could not breathe. After successfully overthrowing him, Vidic pretended to panic and called the officer to quickly come to his aid, the officer immediately entered the cell to provide help to the poor man. Teddy immediately warned him that this was all a trap, but Vidic immediately made the officer faint after hitting him from behind. Vidic then took the gun from the officer and fired it brutally into Teddy's cell. Fortunately, Teddy managed to avoid and hide under the mattress, and when Vidic was about to open Teddy's cell, suddenly Valerie was beside him with a gun pointed at Vidic's head, making Vidic surrender. And because of his actions, his hands were finally handcuffed to the iron bars, so that Vidic could not act again. After that Valerie checked the condition of the officer and the poor man. Fortunately, the officer was fine. But unlike the poor man who seemed to have difficulty breathing, Valerie immediately took him to be given medical assistance. However, they were confused because the man was still not breathing, and upon investigation it turned out that the flesh of his throat had been crushed and covered the respiratory tract, thus making him unable to breathe. Here Valerie did a fairly extreme thing where she boldly tore the poor man's throat, and let him breathe through a dropper while waiting for the ambulance to arrive. In another room, an officer named Huber, was seen contacting someone to inform him about Teddy who was in prison. At the same time, an officer named Kimball, was looking into the origins of Vidic, and after learning that Vidic was a hitman, Kimball immediately started digging for more information about Vidic's background, and came across fellow hitmen like Vidic, and one of them was Anthony, a notorious cold-blooded hitman. Then shortly thereafter, a courier came to deliver a package of birthday balloons for the police officers there, Kimball paid close attention to the person's face which turned out to be very similar to what he saw on the monitor. Anthony who realized that immediately shot Kimball in the head and killed him. Not long after that came two ambulance officers who were going to take the unfortunate man before, 
At first Anthony acted like a police officer and asked them to treat Kimball first, and when they were caught off guard Anthony immediately finished them off without mercy. When Anthony saw another police officer coming there, Anthony pretended to surrender, but quickly shot the head of the police. The hell, Valerie who realized there was a gunshot immediately came out to stop Anthony, but Anthony quickly opened fire on Valerie with an automatic weapon. Knowing that Anthony had come, Huber immediately killed his own sergeant, it turned out that Hubert had worked with Anthony to kill Teddy, and get rid of his rival, Vidic. While Valerie, was still being chased by Anthony with dozens of bullets from his automatic weapon. Fortunately, Valerie had entered a cell covered with bulletproof glass. There Valerie reset the door password to take refuge in the detention room, after escaping Anthony's pursuit, Valerie just realized that she was shot in the stomach, and if left unchecked she could bleed to death. While outside, Anthony, who knew there was an armored cell and bulletproof glass, began to confuse how he could get inside. After Anthony left, Huber suddenly came and asked Valerie to give him the password, then revealed that everything was over, and all the officers who were there were dead, even their own superiors. However, Valerie became suspicious because Huber was the only officer who survived, so Valerie would not let Huber get inside. On hearing that, Huber emotionally replied that he would do anything to get in and kill Teddy, and sure enough Huber and Anthony took the floor plan of the building, and prepared to get inside through any opening, after looking carefully at the floor plan of the prison. Anthony decided to break the wall that led to Teddy's cell. On the other hand, a desperate Valerie could only surrender because now she couldn't do anything. Teddy took this opportunity to seduce Valerie, saying that if he let her go then he would take the medical box and bring it to Valerie, so that Valerie could treat her wound. Vidic is also not to be outdone, saying that it is better to let her go, because he is a professional killer who will definitely kill them. But Teddy's seduction makes Valerie believe more, rather than believing Vidic's words. Finally, Valerie threw the cell key to Teddy, and let him go free, even Valerie handed him a gun just in case. Teddy realized that currently the dangerous person was Anthony, so Teddy decided to hunt down Anthony first, then finish off Vidic who was now locked up in prison. Shortly after, two officers returned to the office after patrolling, but they were surprised to see a lot of bullet casings, and the atmosphere of the office also looked deserted. When they heard the sound of a wall collision, they immediately went to him and asked what Huber was doing, but without thinking Anthony immediately shot them brutally. When Huber was about to finish off his surviving partner, Teddy suddenly appeared and shot them brutally, making them run away. Knowing that, Vidic immediately showed his skills to remove handcuffs easily, and insinuated Valerie for making the wrong decision. Soon, Vidic caught up with them, Huber who was separated from Anthony unfortunately met Vidic on the way, Without further ado Vidic immediately tortured him brutally. Shortly thereafter Anthony appeared to see the dying Huber, suddenly an attack appeared from behind, and the culprit was Vidic. A fight between hitmen ensued. In the end the fight was won by Vidic, because his age was still superior to Anthony. After that it was seen that Teddy set fire to the room after knowing that Anthony was dead, before leaving the office, Teddy stopped by the kitchen to fill his stomach, but without realizing it, Valerie was sitting behind him with a condition that had improved, Valerie looked very angry, because Teddy was only concerned with himself. But unexpectedly, Teddy immediately attacked him with successive shots, fortunately Valerie managed to dodge, and made Teddy run away. There was a shootout between them. But in the end Teddy managed to be paralyzed. When Valerie was about to kill him, she was suddenly attacked by a corrupt officer who came from nowhere, and for sure the officer was also hunting Teddy. When the officer was about to finish Valerie, suddenly the officer was shot by Vidic, and without thinking, Vidic killed Teddy right away. Vidic then left the police station carrying Teddy's stolen goods, and would return them to their owners. Vidic then leaves by car, and that's how the movie ends. From this movie we can take moral values to become people who stick to their stance, and not be tempted by anything. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe, and see you tomorrow.